Hello everyone, I'm Xinran, a PhD student in social psychology from University of Exeter. Thank you for having me here today. And my talk is about open science practices benefit researchers and the community. So first of all, I'd like to start with how I apply open science practices in my own research area. These are quite well-known practices. And like the others, I pre-register my method, my hypothesis, and make my data, materials, and codes open. And then I upload my paper to a preprint server. And finally, I submit my paper to an open access friendly journal. So that is how I'm applying these practices. But in the meantime, I'm also quite aware that these different resources are being placed in different platforms and places online. So to make sure these resources are well linked and easily accessible by the readers. For example, on this OSF page for my study, I put a link to my preprint to direct my readers there and tell them all the data and the materials containing in this page are for a preprint. Then I also link this project to the pre-registration. So as you can see in the corner, the data, code, materials, papers, and supplements badges are all light on. So these are telling the readers where they can find the following up data and study and papers related with this pre-registration. So they can follow the whole trip. And applying these make me feel my projects are quite organized and transparent. So I was wondering whether the students around me, they also aware of these benefits. That's the reason why I started Reproducibility Journal Club in Exeter. So this journal club is originally started at the University of Oxford in 2018 by some PhD students and early career researchers. And quickly it spread out into 100 institutions and in 25 different countries. So the aim of this journal club is to push the open science movement among the students and early career researchers. So that's why I started this journal club in Exeter in 2021. And the journal club members meet bi-weekly during the term time. And at the beginning of each term, we arrange a schedule, which include the discussion sessions and the practical sessions, as shown below. So the discussion sessions are more like a traditional journal club format. We're getting together, drink tea, and discuss a paper. The practical sessions are more like a workshop. So we get our hand on some practical sessions, like doing some R analysis, also a step-by-step -step guidance on pre-registration. So to give you a more detailed look, in this schedule, the first session, Seven Steps to Open Science, is a discussion session where we discuss this quite classic open science work to give an overview of the practices we are going to include in this term. And the second session, Introduction to R, is a practical session, like a workshop. We are helping people to start from importing the data to R and then cleaning the data and doing some basic analysis. And all the materials generated from the journal club, like the paper, the recording, will be uploaded to this dedicated OSF page. So people can find it easily if they can't make this session. After running this journal club for a while, some students giving us really positive feedback. So a student mentioning that I'm more confident in using R now because before it seemed so complex, but now I'm doing it with my peers which gives me a lot of confidence. 
And some other people are saying, when well, they saw other students' examples of doing pre-registration or doing the pre-print, they also feel this is something they can do for themselves in their own research. So this is doable. That kind of achieve our original aim for this journal club, which is we want to create a safe space for the students to discuss any questions in their own research area related with the open science. Earlier this year, we got some funding from researcher development and research culture team at the University of Exeter, which allow us to invite external speakers to talk about how they apply open science into their own research. So we have speakers from Hong Kong, Denmark, and the US, and each of them are in very different area, like machine learning, computer and human interaction, and also um, decision psychology and statistic. So these seminars are open to all the students, not only in psychology department, but also uh, to the university students and staff across different discipline. That is what we are hoping the audience to see, apart from a typical psychology research area, in other discipline, they have their own way to make the research more open and credible. Apart from the journal club, I also deliver some workshops for the doctor college, which is targeted on the PGR students, and also some our course for the coding for reproducible research community, which include both students and staff. And also in the coming year, I'm planning a workshop on the overview of open science practices for the new PGR students. So that is basically what I want to do and what I plan to do. So I, so my plan is not making the individual aware of the open science, but we push the community change to a better and a credible research environment. That's all for my talk. Thank you so much. And any questions and chats are very welcome. <laughs>